I will not be recording that much today because, um, you know, I'm not going to, as I said, it's lab and I'm not going to uh, show that much content. Um, just basically finish up what we did on Tuesday, which was the grep and off. If you remember, I'll assign two problems and that's basically the, the majority of it. Um, so it should be a short video. But uh, so, so it's recording now. Okay, so just let, let me share the screen here. Okay, so as a reminder, uh, the exam is on Tuesday, February 15th. Okay, so remember it'll be um, it's a it's a written exam, but it'll be electronic. So we'll come here and then at uh, two o'clock, I'll put it on the on Brightspace and then you can answer the questions. You're allowed one cheat sheet at eight, eight and a half by 11 page. Okay. All right. And so that's kind of one of the reminders. Let's go over to Brightspace. And you can see here um, on the content. So basically, you you we did this task scheduling in cron. The the cron homework was assigned, and it is due um, basically today, right by 10 p.m. So as I said, you can work on it or ask questions, catch up. Uh, it'll close on Saturday, so that's taken care of. And then you should have your Wireshark reading. That's also due today. So make sure you do that. Um, and then this is the topic that we are kind of going over right now, which is the grep and awk. All right, all the notes are there, PowerPoints, you know, the PDF, basically my own notes, the miscellaneous uh, Unix, and all of that, right? So let me just take a look. Here uh, and then these are the homework content. Okay, so basically you you just have two problems. Um, very simple, just to kind of it's really just to practice grab a knock and get a feel for it. Okay, so we did this on um, on Tuesday. So let's talk. Let's go over the materials. So this is the slides. And these are you have to download them for them to work. All right, so this is basically what I did in class on, uh, you can see on Tuesday. So that's all the information there. So you can go through those. Post it. And here's another PDF. And that's basically probably just a same document or, or a, maybe a slightly different version of it uh, that you can also read through. But it's basically what we did in class. And then here's another PDF. And as you can see, this has got also the things that we did in class on Tuesday, just for your own reference. Okay. Just take a look at them. Hey, don't forget set UID. So here's you know, some of the details of that, and but or reference back to the video if you have. Okay. So those are just a few few documents for you to be aware of that you may need. Can you print it out? use it as additional material. And then here is Grepinok, right? So this talks a little bit about what we talked about also on uh, Tuesday, you know, just examples of what Auk does, right? And you can see that there, how you can type things in, right? And then there's, this is the one, the only thing I, I wasn't able to cover on Tuesday is the find command. But as you can see, the find command, as you're seeing it there, 
Uh, you can just, just make a note of it that that's also a command available for you. Uh, find locates files with common specified characteristics. You know, for instance, you would type in the command line, you type find, and then you tell it where to look, right? Like the file system or parts of the file system, and then the matching criteria that you want to use. So as far as the matching criteria is concerned, you have a few little flags, like you'll have time, size, name. So for instance, here you can see the actual flag is a time dash size dash name, and then you just specify the actual parameter. So for instance, uh, for time, it's file accessed 10 days ago, right? So that's what you want. So maybe I'll, I would say something to you about find some files that were accessed 30 days ago, right? You know, and so you kind of have to figure that out. The size of files is it's going to be in blocks of 512 bytes. So then one common uh, thing that you might do is look for files that are less than N or greater than N, right? So file size. And so you can specify size of file in blocks. But just remember that the n has to be n times 512. So it gives you the actual size. Right? Or you might look up a, look up a file, but it's by a specific name. Or as you now know, file, all files have a user. So you can look it up by a specific user. OK, so now here's an example of the usage of find. So find the dot just means the current working directory, as you have seen, as you, you know, or it can be a full path. Or it can be two dots, which basically means a parent directory. Then name, and you can use special, you know, wild cards, etc. So here you can see this is saying, you know, C files, the dot extension C files, but this is a wild card, an asterisk. So you say all the files that are dot C files. And then you just say something like print it out. Okay. So this example, uh, these problems, I'm not gonna spend too much time on grep and awk and find. So it's basically that the, the homework assignment is more of a research, you know, try to solve these problems. And then we're going to discuss it once you have done it, you know, kind of the solution. For it. Okay. Um, so that's basically, that was the only command that I, I ran out of time on Tuesday. Everything else we've covered already with grep and awk. Uh, so we've talked about it. And so now, as I said, just really today, just going over, the two homework assignment problems, I'll create the link, but here they are. So under the grep and awk folder, click on the Word document. And you can see um, there's two problems. The one, one using the find command or one using grep and awk. And as I said, the goal of this is not to be too complex, just to kind of expose you to the fact that this does exist. Right, just be aware that it does exist, uh, and then uh, research it online. How to do the solve these? I'll talk about these problems in a second, and then uh, yeah, that would be it for so this week. Kind of a light homework, uh, given that we do have the exam. Okay, does that make sense? So let's take a look at the first problem. So it says simply using grep and awk, do the following. So the division director of your company wants to know what percentage of the total disk space in your server is used by the chem group or user X. You guys see that? So you're gonna have to do what? You're gonna have to first get the data about this file system, then grep something, and then awk something. So it's gonna be that basic pipeline. I can already tell you, it should be like that. Get the data, pipe it, grep it, based on some criteria, pipe it, awk it, based on some criteria, okay? Now you don't have, now you might have questions like the total disk space, or it doesn't have to be the total disk space. You can basically use the temp folder. You can use the, your home seed folder. It's okay if you do that, but I just wanted to give you a problem where you would see kind of the context. If you wanna solve this problem as much as possible, do it. Do you guys see this? Try, I'm not asking for a script. This is not a coding exercise. It, in essence, it should be on the terminal itself. You see that? This should be a, a terminal one-liner. That's basically what 
as you, as you saw in the lecture. So, um, and then the second problem using the find command, use the find command to do the following, display a list of, or directory listing for all files under some directory, example chem, which are larger than one megabyte and that haven't been modified in a month. You guys see that? So for this, you'll use the find command. So notice it's saying the size one megabyte and last modified uh, in a month, haven't been modified in a month. So if we go back to the folder Grepanoc and you read through this document, you will see actually that it, it kind of gives you those flags in here in the example. I have, you know, a time, right? Days when it was accessed and size. Just remember it's n times 500 bytes. So you've got, you got to do a little bit of the math. That's it. You can set up some files in there of your own. Again, you can create your own like sim, uh, like your own controlled environment. And then once you know it works, just think about extending it to the entire file system, let's say. Okay. So I'll create the, the assignment link here. And as you can see, this should be an easy one. Say homework, complete the prep and off. Homework, complete the two attached, complete, complete the two problems in the attached the two problems in the attached um, word document. Okay. So I'll, I'll just kind of mention here, problem one is prep and off. And then the other one, problem two is fine. Okay, so I'm gonna put in here this is active now and it'll end, it'll be due, okay, so 10, so it'll be due on the 17th at 10 p.m. No, sorry, it's due on the 17th p.m. 10 p.m. But it'll stay open until the 19th. Yeah. Questions, is this clear enough? Of what you need to do? Yeah, go ahead, please. Yes. No, there's no deduction. It's meant to. I do it because when I when I used to just do one hard deadline, the amount of emails with homework <laughs> that I would get would go up, and this method actually works. Uh, so I get students somehow feel that they're behind when they miss that Thursday. And so, and so that's why I do it. Or sometimes the students play it too close. It's probably what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Because sometimes students just like, instead of submitting a 12, they submit a 12 third. 1230 or, or or it's closed and so they can't submit so they send it to me at 1 a.m via email and so yeah and so that's that's why i do this but yeah you don't lose any all right um so anyway so as i said today is just basically uh work on these two problems if you're done with everything else um or, or work on the cron homework, which is due tonight, or it, and just, you know, I'm here to help you. So if you want me to look at something, that's what today is. We'll probably do it in 365. We'll probably do the same next Thursday. Wherever, you can follow me today, but I'm gonna do this same thing in that cron. Yeah. Yeah, we have the test on Monday and then, sorry, Wednesday. I meant. We're gonna do an open lab for where if you guys are a catch up, we're gonna do that. So.
So I think I, I should, probably should have done a catch up less. All right, so are, uh, so are there any questions? guys? Okay, so I'm just going to stop the recording here because I'm not really, and then it's just ask questions. And...